Debbie from The Quilt Journal, and today I'm going to be doing a review on these inside circle templates that are put out by Tara Loy Enterprises. Um, Tara Loy McKnight manufactures these, and earlier this summer she sent me this to do a review from a sit-down quilting standpoint. Um, Tara is an Inovis dealer, and so she has a lot of experience on stand-up long arms, and she's also the manufacturer um, along with her husband um, that they manufacture um, a lot of long arm templates. They make them in both 3 8 and quarter inch. From a sit down standpoint I looked at the quarter inch template. Um, their other big claim to fame though is that they bevel one of the edges on their long, if you have a straight ruler or a curve or one of those, that allows you a little bit more maneuverability in tight spots if you have to go behind your foot or up the right side of your foot and some of those areas that on some machines really have a tight fit. Um, I did put this on several machines. I from a um, long shank and short shank and took a look at how it fits. Um, you can get these in um, from one inch to eight inches in size these circles. So without talking too much more I'd like to set up my baby lock symphony because right now that's the only short shank um, domestic sewing machine I have and that will give you a really good idea about how this performs on a domestic sewing machine. So let's get quilting. Okay, here we are at my little baby lock symphony because um, it is my low shank machine and really um, I really wanted to see, show you so you can see the clearance that I get to the back of this um, needle bar and to the side here because of the bevel that is all around that inside edge. You can see because it's it, it's not a sharp edge that comes up here that it allows the foot just to kind of float along that edge all the way around. Um, there is no channel key on this and because of that when I go around sometimes, sometimes I'm able to kind of just nurse it around and I don't get any kind of a divot where that channel is, but I think as sit down quilters, we tend to put a lot of pressure, and not a lot of pressure, but some, a firm hold as we go around just to keep it in place. Um, now that one, I went right by and I was anticipating it and I'm able to go by with a very clean circle with no divot where the key is whatsoever. Um, the other big thing I want you to notice, these threads are really just in my way, um, is my hand position. Um, that, you know, combined with the channel is really what I feel the, the, the game changer here with this um, template. That you don't have to pick up your hands and move it around a circle like you would on if you were doing a circle template that has around the outside. My, I never lift my hands and I just go around seamlessly. And so you can join your circles, you can do any number of things. Um, on, on Tarl's template, I did go ahead and with a little fine tip sharpie, I went over with a ruler where the markings are here because with my eyes, I have a really hard time seeing those fine lines um, to line them up when you're using this template for other designs. And as always, um, you need to put your grippies on. I like the handy grip, it's just my favorite. Use whatever that is because we need something that's going to grip our fabric. Um, okay, so let's go on and look at some clamshells, another way that we can use this uh, template to do more than just circles. All right, let's go on to the next design. Okay, here we are at my APQS George and as you would imagine, my clearances are a bit different on this. I'm kind of back in my comfort zone here. Um, this is what I've kind of become used to doing my free motion on. And we're just going to go ahead and do some quick clamshells. 
Now you can hear a little bit when I go around some chatter or um, squeaking because I'm putting a fair amount of pressure up against that foot right now. Um, I notice if I don't give it enough, a lot of pressure when I take off, um, even on that one I feel like I am pushing, um, I do get a little loop or a divot, um, a little back stitch almost when I um, take off and go around that. And then I can kind of relax and just let it slide a bit. Um, as far as clamshells go, you don't need to have, as Terrell Loy had said in one of her videos, you know, a whole big um, uh, complete template of multiple. This little circle template is all you need. And I backtrack on up, I line um, the little hatch marks that she has, registration marks on her ruler here. I've darkened them in with a fine line um, sharpie. And I make sure that the top one is coming down and gonna hit that um, clamshell right about that 50 yard line. And then I go up and around and you can see that this just floats around the APQS George foot um, quite well. There's no problems. Let me just get that last little. And slide it on down. Um, I have to say, in complete disclosure, that it is it, it is a lot easier floating this around on George than it is on my short shank. It floats like a dream like this too on my um, brother dream machine. Um, it's a high shank machine and it just floats around with no problem whatsoever. Um, and you could just quickly go on and just cover um, an entire blanket if you'd like with clamshells and you can see very easily how beautiful clamshells that they uh, march out and then you can come in and you can fill them in with little ginkgos or basket weave if you'd like to or you could just leave them like this since they're so big as a kind of an all-over fill pattern. Um, there's other designs that you can do with this as well. I, you know how I feel about um, you know, kind of one trick ponies, um, but this is, this is a template, uh, you know, that a circle template is just something that, you know, pretty much everybody can use in their arsenal of, uh, quilting templates. Um, so my review of the Terraloy inside, uh, circle, um, template with the beveled edge for the most part is is really positive um, I do feel that it is a tight fit on the um, low shank machines as it comes around the back your newer high shank machines that a lot of your manufacturers are coming out with are simply not going to be a problem um, the APQS George which sometimes has a very limited clearance over here on this side of the foot with the way that the ruler foot attaches it goes around with no problem either so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little review on the inside circle template put out by um, Terrell Loy Enterprises. Um, and thanks for stopping by and watching. Thanks again. This is Debbie from the Quilt Journal. Bye.